Welcome to Math in the Box with Susan Johnson. In this lesson we are going to simplify a complex fraction. To begin with, you must know how to find an LCM or an LCD. In this problem our LCD is 2x plus 1. Let's write that down. Our LCD, or I am going to call it an LCM. They are the same thing. Uh, the M stands for multiple and we are going to be multiplying with this rather than using it as a denominator. So I'm going to call it an LCM. We will multiply with the LCM. Each term, the x, the plus 3, and this large term here on the end here, the x here, and then this large term here, all of these, there are five things here that must be multiplied with the 2x plus 1. Now it'll take me a moment to write that, but you really do have to take the time to so write this. 2x plus 1 must be multiplied times the x. It must be multiplied times the plus 3. Oops, I lost the 1. And the fraction. 2 at 8, negative 18 over 2x plus 1. Now this is a fraction. We are multiplying with this 2x plus 1. It is in the numerator. So actually when we do this division here, these will divide out. And that's exactly what we want to happen. Our complex fraction, when we, when we finish this, will no longer be a complex fraction. It will be a fraction, but it will not be complex, meaning that you have fractions within fractions. These will be gone. Now we're going to have to do the same thing in the denominator. We have this x here. I have to multiply that by 2x plus 1, just as I have done the terms in the numerator. So I'm writing the 2x plus 1. Notice that I've written it in parentheses. I'm writing it beside each one of those. Oops, that should be a negative sign here. So we'll put the negative in here and the uh, 6. over the 2x plus 1. Alright, again now this will divide out with the 2x plus 1, our multiple, our least common multiple that we multiplied with. I really didn't explain how to get the LCM. That's in a different lesson and this is a more difficult problem. If you are not understanding all this, then you need to uh, go back to a, probably a different section or lesson in your book and learn about LCMs or LCDs. Alright, let's multiply this out. Now notice that these did divide out, so I no longer have these small denominators that I had before. They are gone. But I have quite a bit of multiplying to do. I'm going to start here. That will be 2x squared plus x, and then the next one I'm going to do this multiplication. That will be a come 6x plus 3, and then we have the negative 18 still there. Alright, then our denominator, I'm going to multiply this part out right here. That will be 2x squared plus x, and then negative 6. And when you get to this point, you must factor the problems. Anytime you are uh, working with fractions in algebra class, and you must know factoring quite well. Before we factor the numerator, though, I see that I have some terms that are alike, so I need to combine those. I have 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. And that's over 2x squared plus x minus 6. Now we're ready to factor these. We cannot divide. You may not divide out until you have factored. Alright, I'm looking at the numerator here. We're going to factor this right now. The 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. And this is another skill that you should already have accomplished and know how to do well. Uh, we need a negative 15 on the end. Let's see, I need a, um, that should work. 
that will give me the negative 15 but it's also going to give me the positive 7x if you multiply this out you will get a positive 7x now in the denominator we have 2x times x will give me the 2x squared same thing that I had in the numerator but the end number is different I have a 6 negative 6 I could use a 6 and 1 or a 3 and a 2 uh, now again this is a skill in a prior chapter alright that's what we need I have factored these and you can see now once you have two factors that are exactly the same this is division a fraction bar is like a division symbol these divide out they're exactly the same leaving you one so our final answer is x plus 5 over an x plus 2 well I hope that helps you understand how to simplify a complex fraction of the type that I could be given here this is Susan Johnson with mathinabox.com